Pro Tools Intro is Avid's new free Pro Tools offering, and it's pretty much just a track limited version of the full Pro Tools. So let's have a look at what you get and some of what you don't get. So my initial question is, how many tracks can you have? And let's have a look here. We can have eight mono or eight stereo audio tracks. We can also create eight mono or eight stereo instrument tracks. And you can see you can have those at the same time. So you're not limited to just eight tracks altogether. You can have eight audio, eight instrument, and we can also add eight MIDI tracks as well. So you can see there's my eight MIDI, eight instrument, eight audio tracks in there. Plus we can also add four aux input tracks as well. And you can have pretty much unlimited buses for all of these tracks as well. So Pro Tools Intro is a much bigger program than just an eight track DAW. It's actually 28 tracks altogether. And this can be great for simple rock music, country, simple EDM, hip hop, or pretty much anything that you wanna do. As long as you're not going crazy with tracks, you can get it done in Pro Tools Intro. Now, the next question that I had about Pro Tools intro, and I couldn't really find the answer on the website is, can I bring my third party plugins into it? And it appears that yes, you can. So when I first loaded the program, I noticed that it was scanning all of my plugins. And then when I got in here, I noticed I can load up whatever plugin I want. So you can see in here, I have Waves plugins, I have Isotope plugins, all of my third-party plugins that I installed as AAX, I can use in Pro Tools intro. So that's really nice and it makes it not as limiting as Pro Tools first was. So I can load my third-party effects and instruments in here, but does it come with any instruments? And the answer to that is yes, it comes with Air Expand 2. So let's have a quick look at that. And Expand 2 is a very versatile workhorse type of synth that's capable of creating a ton of sound. So let's just have a look at some of the presets that you'll get in there. You have soft pads, bright pads, action pads, all kinds of pads, brass, leads, hard leads, all kinds of different things, even drums in here. So there are lots and lots of sounds available to you in Expand. And if you don't like Expand 2, then you can bring in a third party instrument. That's not a problem. But if you were to buy Expand 2, it would cost you $99 regularly. Sometimes it's on sale, but it is a regular priced $99 synth and you're getting it for free in Pro Tools intro. Now, having said that, you can't use this in any other DAW. So don't think that you're going to download this and then use this in whatever program you want. It has to be used in Pro Tools because it is an AAX plugin. Pro Tools is known for having some very usable stock effects plugins. Which ones come with Pro Tools intro? Well, you actually get a bundle of 15 effects and some of the key ones to mention here are the BF76, which is a nice 1176 style compressor. You also get the Dynamics 3 compressor, which is a really nice digital compressor the EQ3, and this can be used in the seven band or the one band version. And of course you don't have to use all bands in the seven band, so you can use it as a three or four or five, whatever you want there. And you get the D-Verb plugin plus many more. And like I said, if you don't like any of these, you can bring in your own third party AAX plugins if you want to. Also to note, it comes with 19 audio tools and this includes some of the audio suite effects as well. So you're not getting all of the effects that you would get with Artist or the full version of Pro Tools, which is a given, this is free, but they are giving you a solid selection to use as a base. And this stuff you can use in your music productions, no problem. So here's another important question. Can you actually make music in Pro Tools intro? And in my opinion, you absolutely can. Like I said earlier, simple things like rock, country, some basic EDM and hip hop things. As long as you're not going crazy with tracks, you can definitely use this to make music. And another cool thing with Pro Tools intro is, say you wanna send your project off to a friend or somebody that you want to do your mixing for you. Well, Pro Tools intro projects will open in the full version of Pro Tools and projects created in the full version of Pro Tools will also open into 
Pro Tools intro, if it has more than the track limitations, those will get truncated though. And if you're in a band or you do cloud collaborations with other artists, you can do that with Pro Tools intro. You can't send a collab invite in Pro Tools intro, but you can accept them. So maybe your band purchases the full version of Pro Tools, but some of your band members are in different places. They're at their own homes and you want to collab together. Everybody can have Pro Tools intro on their computers and maybe one guy has the full version and you guys can collab together, create music together, and it's not going to cost additional licenses to set that up on additional computers. And that's a really nice feature there as well. So there's a lot of features and things that you get with Pro Tools intro. Now, what are some more limitations that you might notice in Pro Tools intro? One of the big things might be you can only record up to four tracks at the same time. So if you plan on recording a drum kit that's really mic'd up with more than four mics, you won't be able to do that in Pro Tools intro. Another limitation that some users might notice is that there's no video track in Pro Tools intro. So if you plan on doing some post audio editing or maybe just editing music to video, you won't be able to do that in Pro Tools intro. But really, this is a nice introduction to Pro Tools. If you're wanting to get into Avid's Pro Tools, this is great for that. Maybe you want to work in a studio one day. Maybe you just want to see what Pro Tools is all about. This is an excellent introduction to it, and it doesn't feel overly limited like Pro Tools first used to. All of your saves will be on your computer. You're not saving into the cloud. You don't have to worry about anything like that. And now check out 10 more free DAWs by clicking the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.